The motion trail effect in DaVinci Resolve can be a quick way to make your videos and even thumbnails way more interesting. And today we're going to showcase how to add it and use it completely free. So I have this animation here, and on my timeline it's two fusion compositions to keep things easy. My text is on top and my logo is on the bottom. We're going to start by adding motion trails to the logo. So I'll right click it to open it in the fusion page. And in fusion I can see that I just have my logo and a transform node to animate the position. I also have a polygon mask, but that's just to cut out the background. I can just press shift and space to add a trail node, and now if I play back our animation, we get this effect. We can see our logo leaves frames behind as it moves, and we can adjust how those frames look up here in the inspector. Before each playback, you have to hit this restart button so that it will properly regenerate the frames. We can turn down the gain, causing the motion trail to slowly fade out over time. I also like to turn up the blur so that the trail gets blurrier. And now we have this motion trail. The more you decrease the gain, the dimmer the trail gets. You can also adjust the scale to make the trail bigger or smaller over time. And with offset and rotation, you can adjust the position of the trail. And if you want a more subtle effect, you can increase the blur size to make it a little bit less intense. If you change the operator to under, it will overlay the effect on top of the image. You can mix and match to make some pretty cool animations, but you can also apply the effect to any video with a subject. The first step is removing the background of your footage. If you have DaVinci Resolve Studio, you can just use Magic Mask, but for this example we're going to use a green screen video. I can key out my green screen by opening my video in the Fusion page, pressing Shift and Space to add a Delta key or note, and hitting the eyedropper to key out the green background. And you can turn down the erode a bit to get rid of the outline. And now I can press shift and space to add a trails node just like we did before. I can play around with my settings and get some really nice effects. The trails node is fun to play with and you can make some really cool things in the free version of DaVinci Resolve. So I hope you found this video helpful. Check out this video on screen or my channel for more guides. But most importantly, have a fantastic rest of your day.